What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today we're talking about 1989's Roadhouse starring Patrick Swayze. And Patrick Swayze's the man, if we're being honest. We all love a little Patrick Swayze. Um, but it's particularly in this movie, his role as Dalton. You know, all the women love him, all the men want to be him, and yet he doesn't want to be any of them. He just wants to be himself and listen to the music. And this movie, compared to the 2024 version with Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor, I loved this OG version so much more. So much more. Like, with by spades more. You know what I mean? Like, just so much more. And, uh, like, the movie starts out and Swayze's just so friggin' jacked. But he takes a quick little knife wound to the arm and kicks the guy out and you know, handles business, and he gets asked by the, the rich guy, hey, will you come to the Double Deuce, it's, it's a respectable joint, and I think it can be great, but right now, people are dying in there, and get bottles smashed, and bar fights, and we need a guy to to be the cooler, to keep things cool, and, and keep things working, and make sure that nothing pops off, and Dalton's that guy, he's the bouncer, and, uh, you know, he's sitting there stitching himself up, and he's like, I don't fly, so I'll have to drive, and I'll be there when I get there. And all of a sudden, he, you know, goes to the new joint. And his first night, he gets stabbed in the ribs again. But he has to go to the hospital this time to get some staples. And that's where he meets his love interest. And, and just from there on, I'm like, I'm in. Because it, between Patrick Swayze and the hot ass, Kelly Lynch plays Elizabeth Clay. And Elizabeth is super hot. Super, super hot. I really, really... Like, especially this young Kelly Lynch, like, wh how she looks in this movie it is super hot. And she's, like, a doctor, so she's smart. But it, I but just but the, some of the similarities between the 89 and 24 version. When Swayze's getting the staples and he's got his arm up and you just see the... <clears throat> and she's, like, painful. And he goes, pain don't hurt. You believe him, right? Like, I believe Dalton felt no pain and this man is just... A rock solid temple, you know what I mean? When Gyllenhaal says it, he's like, "Pain don't hurt. No one wins in a fight, right?" Like he he just said it like he was trying to do a Swayze impersonation, but just was was not Swayze at all. And I like Jake, but this just seeing him in this light, I didn't like him at all because his character of Dalton, Swayze's character of Dalton, was such a badass and such a cool guy that everyone wanted to be, where Gyllenhaal's Dalton seems like a psychopath, seems like a murdering killer, like that's just a lunatic that's trying not to be a lunatic, you know, like, I, that's the vibe I got from it, but just the three of them, like how hot in the ni early, uh, late 80s, early 90s, Patrick Swayze, a young blonde Kelly Lynch, and long-haired, gorgeous Sam Elliott. Like, I don't give a fuck. If I was in born and, and or I was a grown man in 89 and Sam Elliott was gay, he, he could have taken me. I promise you. I'm not gay. I'm straight as could be. But that long-haired motherfucker, when he was dancing with Dalton's girl in the bar or, or the diner or wherever they are, I was, I was in love. I was like, this is exactly what I needed. I didn't realize... My mother kept, she watched the 24 version. She goes, Kim, you got to go watch the, the OG version if you haven't seen it. it. The partner that he had was the best. And I got the partner, the partner. Because Gyllenhaal was like a solo guy. Never had a really like a partner in crime type deal. And Wade Garrett, Sam Elliott's character, and Dalton were both respectively two of the best bouncers in the business. Dalton thought Garrett was the best. Garrett knew that Dalton was the best, but they both kind of worked together and, and and Garrett was getting old and and he knew it and Dalton knew it, but like Sam Elliott dies in this movie like a, oh, it's crazy. Like uh, like what they were willing to do back in the 80s that they just don't seem to pull the plug or pull the trigger on nowadays. And some of the lines in this are wild like some of the shit the millionaire guy says, oh, you're telling me you're a maggot or something like that, you know, and you're like, whoa, and, uh, you know, this poor guy, they're fighting at the end, right, he, he killed his boy, and he's, like, gonna, he tried to kill the guy that he's renting the, the place from on the farm, and he's kicking his ass, and the guy, like, grabs him and goes, I used to fuck guys like you in prison, what, like, why did you say that, like, but, of course, Dalton kicks his ass, rips his throat out, which was like a thing the whole time. Like, they kept going, hey, uh, 
I heard Dalton ripped the guy's throat out and killed him. And that was like a whole thing the whole time. And everyone was like, oh, we're, you're pretty much waiting to see, oh, he's, he's a killer? Okay, okay, let's see it. And by the end, he kills this dude, rips out his throat, and you're like, fucking A. Woo. But I gave Roadhouse four out of five stars. And what I think the 24 one was missing more than anything was a, bl a blind guitarist sitting on stage doing his thing and that was one of my favorite characters He's, he was a blind guitarist and he was a badass and then all of a sudden one of his partners whispers in his ear and he goes yo who's that guy there and everyone in the crowd's going what's his name who's that guy what's his name and all of a sudden the blind guitarist leans in the mic and goes the name's dalton and you're like fuck yeah it is Patrick Swayze is the man. I love this movie. It made me want to just go a deep dive into all Patrick Swayze things. I love the movie Point Break so much. I, I almost want to go back and rewatch that again and do a full review on it. Comment below if that would be something you'd want to see. Uh, comment in the comment section all of your favorite Patrick Swayze's movies. All the recommendations that you have for me in the comment section below. I would love you guys forever. If you guys would do that for me, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss future videos coming to the channel. And I really appreciate any of you guys that made it this far in the video. Stay tuned for more. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.